What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Hunter X here, bringing us another episode of the Airwolf 21.16.5. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. With that being said, let's get into today's episode. Alrighty, guys. So, um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and wait. Do I not have sand in here? I totally don't have sand in here. Okay, let's go ahead and put sand in there. And Ventium. I guess that could be good. So let's go ahead and put all of our other ores away here. So like iron, uranium, that, fluorite, and all that stuff. All away. Um, do we not have granite? Okay, I was about to say we should have granite in there. Bauxite ore, all the ores. I did a little bit of mining in between episodes here. And yeah, so today I kind of want to get into a little bit of power. And so I was either thinking we could either do steam. I think that's what it's called. I don't remember what it's called. It's from thermal. The Sterling generator. I'm assuming that's the one that I'm thinking of. The sterling generator is the one that you feed it. No, you feed that coal. I think. Yeah, something like that. But it's not too expensive. It's pretty expensive. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into that. And maybe a little uh I'm not sure about power. I'm not sure how the power cables work. Like, how do I like, how does this work? This is like a hundred R per tick. And these seem to be pretty easy to make. We just need this dielectrical paste, which needs some of that stuff, which, mm, which, which we, we can probably get into universal cables might be better just to start right off the bat with mechanism. It is going to need a little bit of steel, but we can totally get that. Steel is not that hard. We just need a metallurgic infuser. Yeah, there's that. This is not too hard to get into. Um, so yeah, I would say let's get into that and then let's get a little bit into the sterling generator. I'm going to say let's make like, I'm assuming these do about five or uh, 40 R per tick ish so i'm gonna say let's get like five of these i mean that's gonna need a lot of stuff so let's go ahead and get uh some gold and some iron i gotta i gotta sit here and uh beat this crank for a little bit so with that being said we'll be right back all righty guys so i went ahead and cooked up a bunch of iron and gold here. You know, we're also going to need a little bit of redstone as well. Let's grab our redstone out of here. We don't have a lot of it, but we have a decent amount. So we're going to go ahead and make some of these. Uh, right. We wanted to make five of these. So let's go ahead and make five of these. So it's going to be 20 iron right there. Already gone. Good. And then we're going to need five of these guys one two three four five and then that's gonna be our five thingies but we also need we're gonna make a set of stone and yeah those should be done now beautiful okay so that's gonna be that's that's that done let's go ahead and get more cobblestone uh, I need two furnaces and then a osmium ingot let's make a third furnace just because I need another furnace to cook some osmium here uh and I actually, well, I was going to say, can I place this on top of that? But no, I'll do that instead. 
And then I need a little bit of Osmium. I don't think I can't quartz grindstone Osmium. Unfortunately. Oh, do we not have Osmium in the list? Because that would be really unfortunate. I don't think we do. Do we even grab any Osmium? We should have Osmium. Right? You would think that we would have some Osmium. If not, I can go grab some. It's not that big of a deal. Wow, we literally don't have any Osmium. Also, that shouldn't even be in there. That should be... Okay. I thought we had Osmium. You were grabbing Osmium. That's silver. That's zinc. Oh, we, we do have Osmium. Okay, I was like, I thought we 100% did have Osmium. I was like, I know I'm right. All right. We can't actually... Um, We can't crush her that yet because we don't have the Pulverizer just yet. But... Okay, so that means our gold is done. All right, what else do we need for the metallurgic confuser? I think we have everything except for that one piece of osmium. I'm getting two because we're probably gonna need a little bit of redstone as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up back here for now. And then I need a little bit of stone to make my five sterling generators. But I think for now, Okay, for now, I'm actually going to move this. We're going to go ahead and put this over here. Actually, um, I don't know where I want to put this. For, uh, I guess here for now, we'll have to do. And then place this down. And then I think, okay, so this doesn't look like it needs anything. So, yes, it does produce 40 RF per tick. So that's not too terrible. Um, right. You and you're going to need some coal. And you're going to basically make some power for me. And then I need some coal for you. You're going to get your, your coal or whatever. And then we're going to get uh, eight pieces of that going. I would like a energy cube and an energy cube. Can this be enchanted with holding? I'm not even sure. It doesn't look like it can be. So what you get is what you get kind of deal, right? But yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Hmm. Honestly, I might want to get the energy or the it's called the flux cell now from thermal. It just needs an electrum. No, yeah, it needs electrum. And the only way to get that. Well, I do know a way that we can get that, which is through. Um. making the the climb bricks or whatever so the, the kiln but hmm i mean we could make another medical metallurgic confuser and yeah i think that's just we're just gonna end up going that way it's just easier and cheaper that way to do it that way um right um another one of these so that means we're gonna want another two of you uh that should be that and i need to reconfigure that interesting Hmm. I don't like that. And this doesn't seem to like accept water or anything like that. So and then that needs to be smelted. 
Okay. So to get into the energy cube, we're going to need four pieces of steel. So in fact, we'll get that going. And then I think that also needs osmium. Yep. That also needs glass as well. So let's go ahead and get some sand. Uh, 16 should be good enough for now. That's going to take a minute to cook. Okay, so there is a lot that we still need to do. And then to make the energy, the universal cables, I'm guessing it's just redstone in the center. Beautiful. And yeah, it's producing 20 hours per tick, I think. It says max 40 per tick, but I'm not sure. What does that mean, you know? I don't want to waste a full piece of coal. That's the thing. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to waste a full piece of coal. On. I mean, I could have. But, you know. And I, I can't. Well, mm, I don't want to move that. And then take that. All right, I need four more steel. And then the energy cube. Back to the energy cube. That's going to need four of those. So another four of these. In the redstone, dude. But I don't have my... I don't have my conduits yet. I'm about to have my conduits. And then, so we're going to grab our steel. Make that. Pick these up. Because I'm going to put this here. Yeah, our inventory is not doing so hot right now. And that's going to do that. And then I need... Guy, if you can get the hell out of my way. Oh, I need another piece of osmium. Another piece of osmium. All right, what did I do with that osmium? Did I put it back in here? I might have. Yes. Another piece of osmium, please. The four of those, because I need four of those to make two of these. And I'm just missing the steel casing, which is going to be the, the, what we need next. Steel casing, please, which needs osmium. Uh, I don't think it need that much gold on me. Okay. Machine case, please. And then an energy cell. Beautiful. You pick these back up. It's going to kind of suck that I'm going to lose that power, but that's all right. And then I think back here. This is going to be a really nice place. kind of set this up yes all right this is perfect for now at least and then we'll go ahead and set down the five
sterling generators. At the very edge here, we're going to set down or like right here, set down our energy cube with the five or so uh, cables. Everything's going to be input except for the bottom. And then you're all going to get I just need five stacks of coal, which I can't even fit in my inventory right now because our inventory is absolutely shebanged at the moment. All right, cool. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and everything else should be good. And you're generating power, you're generating power, you're generating power, you're generating power, and you're generating power. Just like that, we've got power, boys. And then we can run our cables like this under the ground. And this can also charge our laser if we just put it here. Yeah, we can charge our laser basically, which is nice. That's that's a good, 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 good start. Right now, if we want to get ore processing set up, it's actually quite simple. Um, we're going to need a few things to set that up, which is the pulverizer. OK, the pulverizer. And the redstone furnace, which is also something that we're gonna want. We're gonna want eight of these. We are getting pretty low, uh, actually shakingly low on clay, which is not ideal, but we can make it work. Um. Okay, so to get started, we're gonna need uh, four, so 16 copper. I'm sure I've got that somewhere in here. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of, uh, manual processing and we'll be right back. Alrighty guys. This is freaking bro, bro. Can you be any more annoying? Yeah. Can you be any more annoying? Get out of my way, sir. Thank you. All right, we're gonna need a little bit of iron here. We're gonna need a couple of iron nuggets because that's how we make gears. Uh, well, we're gonna get we're gonna get a better way to make gears later. But right now, this is kind of like the only way that we can make gears. Oh, it's getting nighttime, so he's oh penis. I broke my ah. That's okay. We're not gonna need it anyway. Um, you know, not gonna need it anyway because we're kind of getting into the uh, uh the section of uh you know things here we're gonna need a little bit of gold a little bit of redstone here and what's not um do we have redstone on us already we don't uh that's probably in here i do gotta do a little bit of mining I feel like I could do more mining, you know, I feel like I don't have that many resources. Also, like these should be placed down. I know. What am I doing? Oh, we're going to place this. Uh, is this front side disabled? It is now. I'm actually going to disable all the sides that I'm not using. And then you, which you're gonna get put back there. And you should be my redstone guy. Yeah. All right, beautiful. So now that we've got that going again, 
We just need... I think I need a little bit of tin. I should have some tin in here. This long, yo, know, I might, I might have to, I might have to take him out. He keeps getting in my way. I only have seven tin ore. It's not a lot of tin, if you ask me. Uh, I just need a little, I just need a couple more sticks because I accidentally broke my crank. And this is also why we're actually getting this set up as well. Because we need this. Well, we need a better way to automate our resources and do some things, right? So, I mean, getting this is getting the, the, the redstone furnace and pulverizer up and going is probably going to be our best bet, right? Because uh, we need a lot of stuff. Um... You know, we need we need to get our resources up and going here. Um, I would ideally, you know, maybe sooner or later, maybe get into some passive ways of generating some um some energy, like solar panels and uh solar panels or you know, you name it, you know. Uh, I think we're gonna go by far my my probably best option is gonna be the windmill from mechanism or the wind generator this guy here the wind generator is a pretty neat and fancy way to make some um, some power um, you know we can probably do that set that up and that will get us a lot of power and i mean a lot of power like 500 r like 900 if we have five of them at least that will give us at least 900 r per tick which is not bad that's not a bad amount of energy right all right we're gonna go ahead and uh get this going here because we need to make one of these i'm kind of deciding to kind of start with the redstone furnace because, yeah, I think that's what's going to be better. Because uh, right now we're just kind of just, you know, burning through fuels and, you know, whatnot. And I think that's uh, something that I want to work towards next episode as well. Is getting the, maybe getting some wind turbines. Now, obviously, we're not that high, or not that, like, like, if I really wanted to do it, I would ideally want to be up there, like, up high, high, high in the sky, but, uh, I mean, we could realistically go and grab obsidian and do the whole thing, the whole shebang, but, yeah, we need another one of these. And another one of these. Not not one of those, sorry. Another one of these. And then that needs one of these. And we're almost there. But do I have I have plenty enough flint. I have some in here. Uh is there anything else that I'm missing? I think I'm missing the rest of the copper gears copper gears and then we're just missing the reception coil and that should be a pulverizer nice that is beautiful all right that is beautiful all right i kind of want to go there's part of me that wants to adventure and try and find one of those, um, what should I call it? They're they're dungeons. They're specific dungeons that have, uh, monster spawners in them. And I would like to explore some. Because, well, let's be honest. I want to steal a couple things from it. Right? 
I want to steal some Enderman spawners and some blaze. Well, Enderman spawners specifically because hunting Enderman is a little bit of a pain in the ass, right? A little bit of a pain in the butt, if you ask me. Um, I would ideally like something like that. So that way I have access to unlimited ender pearls at my fingertips kind of deal. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's something that we're going to have to kind of work towards. I don't mind taking that little bit of copper there. Yeah, maybe finding one of those dungeons would be super nice. Um... Know, hopefully one that's relatively close and not too far away would be nice I wonder if we have anything that can give us like genuine flight that isn't a jetpack right because we do have angel rings but it kind of needs an elytra. We can't really get an elytra until we go to the end. And the only way to get to the end is if we go to the nether and potentially find um, a blaze farm of some kind. Which would be kind of difficult without flight. Right? Because the new nether 1.16 is 100% super duper sketch. It's super duper like scaly kind of deal. So ideally I would like to get something uh, that will give us flight. Is there anything from Relicor Relic Relicory that can give us flight? I'd have to do my research and kind of see the glowing bread, glowing water that needs that. And I'm not sure if that's infinite. Um, you know what? I wonder if bat wings, isn't there something that's like bat related that allows you to fly? Mm. I'll have to check that in between episodes. If Relicory has anything that allows you to fly. Because that would be really nice. And a, a nifty little gadget. To have while we explore the nether. The nether regions. Because. Yeah, the nether is a scary place, man. Without flight. Like, I don't know if I would be able to do it in vanilla. You know, type of deal. I know that Batania does add something that allows you to fly, but it's pretty late in Batania. I'm pretty sure Elementium armor lets you fly. But that's really late Batania. And, yeah, we're nowhere near able to... Uh, the position to be able to do that you know so that's something that we're gonna have to kind of figure out also it would be nice to have a, a, a light upgrade for our mining laser but to get that we need to go to the nether to get glowstone so that's you know something to keep in mind um yeah guys unfortunately it is time to wrap up today's episode so with that being said if you guys did enjoy today's episode please do me a huge favor smash that like button smash that subscribe button ding down that notification bell become a part of the hunters tribe by hitting that subscribe button by also joining our discord with that being said guys thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna love you i'm gonna leave you till next time